Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to transpose a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 3 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data frame object and then you will see that our data consists of three columns, x1, x2 and x3 and five rows, whereby the row names of these rows are ranging alphabetically from A to E. Now let's assume that we want to transpose this data frame. Then we can use the T function that you can see in line 9 of the code. And within the T function, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, we have called our data frame data. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new data frame is returned. And as you can see, this data frame is the transposed version of our original data frame, because this time the previous column names x1 and x2 and x3 are the row names. And the variables of our new data frame are called alphabetically from A to E. So this is basically how to transpose a data frame in R. As you have seen, it is very simple to do that because you simply need to specify the data frame within the T function. However, in case you want to learn more on the transposition of data frames in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.